That was actually really good. Let's have a look in this video about how you can hit more better penetrating fizzing iron shots. So to hit those really solid iron shots, you need to control low point. As the club moves through impact, where it bottoms out in its arc, that is known as low point. So if I was to hit this shot and then hit the ground here, this would be my low point because this is where my club would bottom out. Now, most people, when they struggle striking irons, they bottom out their low point either before the ball, which leads to fats and thins, or really try and strike down too much and just end up drilling it into the ground, taking a gigantic divot. But also, if you get too far ahead of the ball, you can also start to back up and lean onto your trail foot through impacts, which can also lead to the same problems. So the question is, how can you control low point and how can you get these solid strikes? So we're gonna be talking a lot in this video about how you move your body affects where your low point is at impact. Think of it this way, the center of your chest and the low point of your swing is pretty much at about the same place. So if you hit a shot and the center of your chest is over here, generally the low point of your swing is gonna be here. If it's all the way over here, it's gonna be all the way over here. So we need to try and ensure that your chest is over the ball and slightly ahead of it at the point of impact with your irons. First step, we don't want to sway off the golf ball. So as you take the club away, you don't want a big lateral movement onto your trail foot. You want to be staying nice and central, nice and steady. The ball position will change depending on what club you hit, but we do not want that big sway. So on the backswing, rather than swaying, we just want to turn. This right hip, if you think about rotating that backwards rather than letting it slide, the upper body should follow. Turn and rotate. But the feeling is that that trail hip moves behind and around the body and it does not move off to the right hand side. So here's the thought process. Center of my chest at address. What I want to do is replace that with my left shoulder. But center of chest at address and at the top of the swing, my left shoulder or my lead shoulder is now in that position. At impact, I'm going to move my chest so it feels like it's on top of the golf ball. And then after impact, I want my right shoulder to replace where my chest was. So we go chest, shoulder, cover, shoulder. Now, if we get that sequence correct, the hands should return at impact ahead of the ball and allow you to continue to a full finish position. And then shoulder replaces chest, chest over the ball, and then the shoulder follows through. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up all the information on screen now so you can take a screenshot if you wanna take it away, but also make sure you save this video and you can come back to it at any point. If you haven't become a subscriber to the Swing Quest channel, make sure you do that now. And for more videos and to continue your Swing Quest, I recommend these iron videos here.